Hello everyone and welcome back to a Gran Turismo video. It's time for the time trial. Yes, it's Thursday. And we're at Broadbean Raceway in reverse. Technically, Jimmy Broadbent's track, apparently, but uh, it's not. It's not, don't worry. There are the details for you in the Amuse Nismo 380 RS. Sports hard tyres, I would say the gold difficulty is easy, especially compared to the Valkyrie. And time, gold time estimate, 32.8, maybe. Times will come down a little bit more, but I don't see there being too much time. Although I was wrong last week and it came down a bit more than I expected, but... There's not that many corners here, and judging by the title and the thumbnail, hopefully you get the idea that there's one breaking point. So hopefully this guide can help you a little bit in terms of getting that gold time. Right, let's jump into the lap then, and here we go. So make sure you get a good run at the last corner, okay? And make sure you read the nuts out of this car, that's where the top end actually is. So you cross the line, and what you want to do is actually take a high line for turn one, okay? I mean, originally started on the low line, but the high line definitely is quicker here. And what you're looking for is either the billboard, so you can see straight on, or those checkered flags on the inside there. Now, when they get close to the edge of your screen, you want to start turning in, because what you want to do is prep for the little kink towards the left. So you want to start to turn down in towards the oval at this point, okay? You want to get really close to that yellow line, and we actually near that pretty well there. Now, you've got this girder or bridge across the top there, okay? Now, as the edge of that hits the edge of your screen, or just before it does, actually, you want to turn in, okay? And the understeer of the car should make sure you just avoid the barrier on the inside line. You may want to lift it a little bit. It is worthwhile lifting sometimes. I lift a little bit there. But try and keep above 130 miles an hour. As you come into here, stay lifted. And maybe be on the throttle a teeny tiny bit, but nothing major. And make sure you start to turn in. The banking will help you get around this corner. Now, the billboard there on the left-hand side, that is my accelerating mark. And I'm really looking at the edge of that. And I'm trying to start accelerating before that hits the edge of my screen and notice here i continue on in fourth gear so we stayed in the same gear for most of this lap as well we do change on this one though so as you approach that 100 board just after it where the checkered flag ends on the left hand side with the barrier that is actually your brake marker and you are going to brake for this corner okay and you're actually going to drop a gear as well now, when you do this, stay towards the left-hand side. It's very easy to start turning in early. Stay towards the left and then turn in, okay? And notice I'm trying to stay above 80 miles an hour there. Use the kilometers an hour that was on the screen at the same time. And that is the lap in a nutshell, really. They get a 32.291. You can also do a V-shape for turn one, but I didn't do that at all. Now, if you did like this video, do give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel. It really does help. And we are on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And we do do the time trial guide every single week now as quick as we possibly can. So, if there's anything you want to see improved on this video, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, that is going to be it for me, folks. Hopefully, this video is of help, and hopefully you get the gold. There's another two videos there to check out if you want to look at more content on the channel. But that is going to be it for me, folks. Please do subscribe, and I hope to see you in another video. I'll live stream again very soon.